a packed Senate room met with frustration from all fronts. It's kind of disheartening when I had to hear about the drama of student action members, senators and execs wanting to remove certain people on the Judicial Council because of the way they voted. Earlier this week, the Judicial Council issued censures that led to the disqualification of student action candidates from holding newly elected office. There's communities that work really hard to elect candidates to make sure that their interests were represented, uh, and now those people are finding themselves without a representative. The events unfolding over the several hours spanning the weekly ASUC Senate meeting gave voice to the range of experiences with the matter. Some students expressing the need to uphold the initial decision, while others call attention to much larger issues around the ASUC. You are a, an accomplice for not making the facts known. It is a shame that our passions and communities are being shut out because of violation none of us were involved in. It is a shame that this council of nine would silence the voices of 11,000. Pursuant to ASUC Bylaw 4101, Section 2.11, the chief legal officer now assumes the position of both acting judicial council chair and acting elections council chair after several members of both committees resigned amid alleged threats and amounting pressure from the public. Reporting for CalTV News, I'm Tomas Manglonia.